is mandatory that you continually work on God's behalf. Yes. In Philippians 1 6, it says, He that begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. That means God is always working. That means He's continually working on your behalf until His return. He's continually healing you. He's continually delivering you. Yes. He's continually protecting you. Yes. He's continually providing for you. He's continually making ways. And because he's continually working to his return, you ought to continually work with what he gave you to yes. use. And you never have to feel as though you are unqualified to serve the Lord. Yes. Because God looks at your heart and not your past. In spite of what you've been through, in spite of the bad decisions you've made, in spite of the addictions somebody may have had, in spite of the people you may have hung around, in spite of the places you may have been in, God is not looking at your past, but he's looking at your heart. God still wants to use you. Yes, 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 yes he is. God can, God will, God wants to use you. God didn't just add another day. I need you to catch this. God didn't just add another day to your life because you needed it. He gave it because someone else in and outside the church needs you. You can't serve God without serving God's people. A person's most useful asset is not a head full of knowledge, but a heart full of love and an ear ready to listen and a hand a willing, helping hand willing to help others. Yes, yes. The word of the Lord says in Deuteronomy, you shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and shall serve him and cleave unto him. And First Samuel it says, but be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him. Think of all the wonderful things God has done for you because of what God has done for you, because of where he's brought you from, because of the grace, mercy, and favor he's always shown on your life, because he always gives you what you did not deserve, because he's always there by your side. You ought to move yourself out the way. You ought to present yourself a living sacrifice. Be the light and the salt of the earth that God called you to be. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord and do it for his glory. Do it for his glory. Let Christ be seen in your lifestyle. Let him be seen in your walk, in your talk, in your attitude, yes. in your home, in your yes. job, yes. where you go, yes. in your communities. Yes. You ought to know that you ain't living for yourself, but you're living for God. Yes. Do it for his glory. Yes. Things will change if we step up. Yes. We're a weak breaker if we step up. We experience greater, see greater, and have greater if we step up to the plate. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen. Jesus is the ultimate example of obedience. Jesus said he came down from heaven not to do his own will, but the will of his heavenly Father. Jesus became the author of eternal salvation to all that obey him. He told his disciples that the one who wanted to be great in his kingdom shall be a servant to all. Jesus is the ultimate example of love. Jesus loved us enough to come down from heaven to die in our place. He told the Pharisees that the greatest commandment that thou shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. John tells us if we love one another God dwelleth in us and his love is perfected in us. We follow the steps of Jesus when we love God and others around us. Jesus is the ultimate example of humility. Although Jesus is the ruler of the universe, he came to the world as a servant. Though he could have called his angels to help him. He allowed wicked men to take him, bring him to a trial. He allowed them to sentence him to death. And he allowed them to whip him all night long. Jesus humbled himself and still carried his own cross. And he allowed them to nail him to it. You have to understand that Jesus has all power. And he had all power even before he was nailed to 
to the cross. Even before he rose, he had all power. So everything that happened, he allowed them to do it. And he allowed them to nail him to the cross. And his word, he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And what the Roman soldiers did not know, that he set them up to lift him up. And as they lift him up, he stayed there and did it for the glory. Jesus knew where he was going. He knew why God had sent him into the world. He had an assignment. He had a purpose. And he was on a mission. He stayed on the cross. He hung his head and he died. He shed his blood and he died. And he went to hell and did it for the glory. He took the keys to hell and the grave. And just when they thought it was over. Just when they thought it was finished. Just when they thought it wasn't going to get no better. Three days later, Jesus got up for the glory with all power in his hand. And he saved us and he redeemed us and he set us free and he made a way. I don't know about you, but I'm going to live for his glory. I'm going to serve him for his glory. I'm going to do all that I can for the glory of God. We've been made door for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I'm going to serve him because my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches. Is in glory by Christ Jesus. I'm gonna serve him because I know where he brought me from. I know what he's done for me. I'm gonna serve him because the Bible says that my eyes have not seen, nor my ears have heard, neither have he entered into my heart the things that he has prepared for me. Because I love him, I'm gonna serve him because when I was stuck in my own mess, he still rescued me, he still recovered me, he still forgave me, he still It's going to be alright. Your needs will be met. 
I decree and declare it in Jesus' name. Go get that job. Enroll in that school. Start that business. Connect with who you gotta connect with. Learn what you gotta learn. Get inspired. Get equipped. And do it for his glory. 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 Come on, y'all been saying I'm doing it for his glory. Do it for his glory. I dare you to pray for his glory. Shall be saved. 